uh, with Kyle Brown joining us. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, you are here on behalf of the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. You've got a big walk coming up, don't you? We do. We have our annual gutsy walk coming up on this Sunday, June 8th. Okay. Uh, it's happening at North Kiwanis Park. Uh, registration starts at 12 o'clock, and uh, the walk itself, we're looking to get going by about 2 o'clock. Fantastic. How long is the walk? The walk's 5 kilometers, although there are halfway points that people can turn around if they don't want to do the full distance. Okay. Now, oh. The Gutsy Walk, this has been going on for a few years now, hasn't it? It has. The uh, The Gutsy Walk actually started back in 1996 as the Heel and Wheelathon, okay. and so this is the actual, actually the 19th year of, uh, of, of an event like this happening for Crohn's and Colitis. Excellent. Now, the money that you guys raise with pledges and donations and stuff like that, what is that used for, Kyle? Well, all the money goes to, to Crohn's and Colitis Canada, as I mentioned, and uh, it goes towards research, right. um, towards finding a cure for Crohn's and Colitis. As of now, there is no cure for either one of these diseases. And so Crohn's and Colitis uh, Canada has made it their mandate to, uh, to raise this money for research, to raise awareness, and just to make the lives of uh, people with these, these diseases better. Okay. Right on. So uh, the, everything gets started at what time, you said? A registration opens at uh, 12 noon. And then we're looking to kind of get things kicked off entertainment-wise about quarter to two in the walk itself. We're looking to start at two o'clock. I know we've been a part of this in, in uh, the past few years, and it, it's a fun event. You know, people don't have to take it too seriously. They come out and they have a good time, right? It is quite a fun event. Uh, there's a lot of uh, pretty good humor there, especially with some of the different teams that we have, and especially with Crohn's and colitis affecting the bowel and uh, and whatnot. You have a lot of, of team names and costumes and I stuff imagine. that people come dressed up. So you get a couple <laughs> of crazy people, toilet seats around their neck. Etc. Oh, wow. Etc. So it, it's pretty fun, and uh, as I mentioned, we're going to have entertainment there. We're going to have children's games. There's going to be lots of food that people can eat, and as long as it's a nice sunny day, then you can walk down right along the river there. So it's uh, it could be a great day. That's so, awesome. A lot of fun, and I guess also as well a good learning experience for people as well. It is. Um, it's uh, because it is our biggest fundraising event. Uh, it is our biggest opportunity to to put out the information about the disease. And there are a lot of people that that have this disease that don't necessarily want to talk about it, or they don't know anyone else that has the disease and this is an ideal opportunity to come to an event where you know a lot of the people have it or are familiar with it and just participate and just feel one with uh with people that have the same disease excellent so it's uh this sunday down at uh, kiwanis if people want more information or to sign up do you have a website they can go to yeah they can go to gutsywalk.ca um you can pick the saskatoon location on there that gives you the opportunity on the website to to make donations to people mm -hmm. um you can also so register yourself uh, as an individual or as a team and uh, just you can find out the information if you uh, forget what time it starts, anything like that. Uh, it's on there as well as the information about our honorary chairs are on the website too. You can find out a little bit more about them and their stories as well. Perfect. Right on, Kyle Brown. Thanks so much and uh, good luck with the walk this Sunday. Thank you very much. What does it take to be